I remember warming up, felt awesome. Probably like three pitches into the inning before I felt something in my elbow, but didn't really think nothing of it. Right on my third guy, I remember just feeling just pop after a fastball and then this pain just rushed right through my arm and I knew something was up. Anytime a high school pitcher comes in with elbow pain, I think that raises a few red flags. Usually the athlete knows that there was just a different pain. It may have been more severe. Sometimes it's a pop, not always. So you try to expedite that appointment, get them in. Dr. Chris, one of the best guys around. That's what I've been hearing from my teammates. My parents looked into it and yeah, he was. Played baseball himself. So he actually um, just picked up my arm and from right then and there, he knew that something was up and something was not, not right and we got an MRI and he had a complete tear of his UCL. I thought it was done. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of emotions. He's a high level kid, very invested in the sport. This is his life to some extent, it's his identity. We don't take these things lightly. It's showing some compassion, you know, sorry that this is the type of injury that you have and giving the, the athlete, the family an opportunity just to kind of grieve that moment. He just said that I could get an injection to most likely come back in a couple months, or I could just rebuild. Prior to that, I committed to URI, so I felt rebuilding was the best, the best choice. The pop was a tear of his ulnar collateral ligament. So we, you know, we discussed what his history was, and that is he had already had trouble with his elbow. He really wasn't able to recover, and then when he tried to get back to it, he, that's probably when he finished it off, so to speak. I told him that the only treatment that's really gonna give you a chance to go back to the pitching that you want, you want to pitch is to have the ulnar collateral ligament reconstructed. He's on point about everything, and that's that's what I look. You look for in a surgeon. You want someone that's there, that knows what he's doing, and that's what I was looking for. And he was the guy for sure, because I wouldn't be where I am right now without him for sure. To be really good at anything, you have to be really committed to it and be able and want to put the time into it. Uh, one of the things we emphasized with Dorsey early on was I kept asking, you, you know, are you working out the rest of your body, getting yourself in shape? One pitfall could be they're recovering from their surgery and they're not doing anything else to keep in shape. Working with in Universal Orthopedics, I'm knowledgeable about what kind of options he had, not only surgically, but from a rehabilitation standpoint, also from how to potentially prevent this injury again. And we've spent a lot of time putting together a strength and conditioning program specifically for high school and college baseball players. We have physical therapists that played college baseball that have good understandings of these injuries, and not only the physical recovery, but the mental recovery with the injury. So I had initially got a phone call from Dr. Green here at work. He'd know that I work with a lot of baseball players and asked if I would be comfortable seeing Dorsey. And I said, absolutely. So someone like Dorsey, who's a division one college baseball commit, who going into his senior year, so he, you can already tell he's got this high level of drive, but also this talent. His rehab really had to kind of be tailored to not necessarily just getting his motion and his strength back, but also getting him to be able to get back to the caliber of pitcher that he was that got him this scholarship. I played baseball from when I was three all the way through college. So I feel like it really helped that not only to kind of understand the, the different movements that baseball players go through, but getting into the mindset of a baseball player and kind of having that rapport where it's, you know, baseball players were, were a weird breed. Rehab has been awesome, especially with someone that has played baseball before and understands how the arm works and understand how the body works as well. I've picked up a lot and um, I've learned a lot. I'm feeling much, much better than before. Um, at first it was a rough start, you know, typical. I've heard it from a lot of the guys that got Tommy John before, but now I'm feeling much better. Like I'm getting in that groove. I, w I was there when he took those initial bandages off his arm and it's, hey, we're just gonna bend and straighten your elbow. And now he's in here throwing confidently and he has kind of his demeanor back that he had on the mount. Here at Counterpoint, everything's like, basically like a family. Everyone's working towards something bigger. So. Everyone did their job and I did my job as well and everything turned out great. Dorsey is an exceptionally hard worker and his work ethic came through. It's really not just the surgery, it's, it's investing in the rehabilitative process which for Tommy John can be anywhere between 12 and 15 months before you're really back throwing at the same level. It's a grind, just like baseball is a grind, so Dorsey's a grinder. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for all you have done. The future, in my opinion, looks bright. Everything's feeling good, very good. I feel like I can, I can achieve anything right now. I'm at the top of the world. Thank you.